Hey, also what I'm going to do here is talk about how I build up a new planet on Ogame X. During the inactive farming event, I got my 35th planet. There's a zero as well, that's why, zero to 34. I'm going to build this up during the video. So one of the first things that's important is to get a decent position with a new planet. Now seven, eight or nine is ideal. If you can't get those, then six, five or four is a reasonable second option. In this universe, you can see most of the positions that are decent have gone. So finding a position between seven, eight and nine is very difficult. You can always move the planet at a later date though, if needed. Also fields are reasonably important. You can always buy extra field items from the shop though if you need them. I do have a cooldown between how often you can use the items though, so just bear that in mind if you do end up with a smaller planet. So 333 fields is actually quite low, just I wanted to take the decent position before it went. You can see here, that's actually at the bottom end of what you get from a planet in position seven to nine. Also bear in mind, these positions give 30% bonus to metal and when traded, that's better than the other bonuses from the other positions, which is why those three positions are so highly sought after, plus the extra fields you get as well. So I think one of the first things to do, assuming you have brought across a large chunk of res like I have done, is to build a moon. You can put it at 1000 if you want, but a small moon is very easy to destroy. If you do build a 9999 moon, it's much harder to destroy. It does require metal and graviton research. Any moon is okay though to start with. You can always increase the size of the moon at a later date. So let's go ahead and do that. Now for the moon, all I'm building is five levels of moon base and one level of jump gate. And that's it basically, just so I can move my fleet and res about. The problem is if you build up your moon with lots of buildings, someone is just going to destroy it. You may also want a phalanx sensor though, but I really don't recommend building too much on a moon. Moons are way too easy to destroy, especially considering this universe is six times fleet speed. So I will go ahead and start work on this. There we go, moon base level one. Then I'll do four more levels and the jump gate. As I progress with the planet, it takes a bit of time to do the facilities on the moon. So let's go back to the planet. Doesn't take long to deploy the resources between the moon and the planet. There we go. You can see with the minor class, it's about seven seconds. Okay, so let's start building up the planet itself. One of the first things to do is to build up the robotics factory or robot factory. I would say you want about 12 levels of this. So what you do is just type level to 12, then upgrade, and then it shouldn't take too long to do that. You can see here, it sort of scrolls down a bit each time though, just because my planet is all the way down here. There we go, I let that finish, it shouldn't take long. What you can also do while you wait is go around and farm some of the inactives. You can see here though, Quite a few of them have activity on, these ones don't, so I'll just go and send Plunder Fleet to some of those. Get me a little bit of extra res, well assuming they don't have any defense. I'll probe some of the higher ranked newer inactives just to see what they have, for example, that one and that one here. I think the ones that have been offline for a long amount of time, for example, this one, they're pretty much always safe just to click that plunder fleet button on. But the newer ones may be best to probe just to be on the safe side. Let's have a look. 
That's quite a decent chunk of res. I'll go and send a plunder fleet to that. Then, oh wow. Yeah, I don't currently have too much fleet, but those would be really nice inactives to go after if I had a large amount of Reapers. I scrapped most of my fleet as the scrap event is on and am planning to build it, or should I say rebuild it, when the inactive farming event is on. Yeah, those inactives I just probed there though have decent amounts of res on, so that's something I may come back to at a later date. Right, so that's done. Let's scroll back down to the planet and I think the next thing to do is to start working on the Nanite Factory now. I would say you want to get this as high as possible, but this is going to take a bit of time to complete, so you may want to use an item to try and speed it up. I'm going to try 15 levels of Nanite and see... Yeah, you can see it's going to take a long time, so let's go over to my inventory... Let's try a gold one and see what I've got left. Oh, there we go. It's completed. Brilliant. So, I may go a bit higher with this as well. The thing is, when you go really high with this, it makes everything else so much faster. So, again, I think I'll just use one of those items, speed it up, and then, yeah, they're not quite completed yet. It's going to take a bit longer, I think. Let's see... Use that one as well. Ah, still got an hour on that last Nanite Factory. Okay, so what I'll do here is one more level afterwards, then maybe one after that, and then hopefully that will make a Kraken Gold worth using. Oh, there we go. We have a level 32 Nanite Factory now. Nice. So I could probably just do this, to be honest. Well, level 15, then click on it again and take it as high as it would go, which is 31. Then again, just click on it again, take it as high as it would go, 47. Then just repeat the process with the other mines as well until you have a decent sort of level. Because the Nanite Factory is so high, it just auto-builds all of the mines as you can see so I may need another level of nanite factory as well just to make this a little bit quicker you can see I went a little bit too high with the metal mines and it's taking a bit of time to complete them now as I mentioned earlier on though I can always just farm inactives while I wait for stuff to complete so there's always something to do when you're building up a new planet another one with defense there I think I'll just delete those. They're not especially exciting. Oh, that one's quite good. I think I'll go back in and grab a bit more res from that. There we go. Hopefully the mine will be completed. Almost completed. Just the level 77 one to complete. So there we go. I've taken the mines up a little bit further. It's very quick to do this. As long as you don't repeatedly just click the tab like that. Rather you go over here, then type the number in there like that it's so much easier right anyway terraformer i might as well upgrade this it's going to be needed at some point for almost certain another nanite would take one and a half hours i still have items i think i'll do that i think nanite factories are one of the most important facilities to build since it speeds up everything Unfortunately, I have to use a gold item to speed that up now. I could just build up the metal mine a little bit higher as well while I wait for the nanite. There we go. And then it might actually be worth using an item. It is a bit of a waste using items like this, but I might as well use them up. At least it's helping a little bit with building up my planet and I am running out of resources now so I may need to go and get some more. Right, so moving on. A shipyard is pretty much essential. I think taking that to level 22 is probably the best idea just so you can build the orbital defence platforms in defence. 
You need a level 22 shipyard for that. I will say though, defence is pretty much useless, but you kind of need a bit, otherwise you will just get repeatedly farmed, well you might anyway. So I'll come back to that after I've built up the shipyard, so let's go ahead and do that. There we go, that was nice and quick, a level 22 shipyard. And I think most of the things on this planet are done now. What I do need to do is build some solar satellites so I actually have energy. Let's say 10 million. There we go, that's given enough energy. And what I also need to do is max out the crawlers. That only takes a few seconds with a nanite at this level. I'm also going to need a few more sats. Yeah, that should more than cover it. There we go, nice. So one other thing you can do at a much later game stage is swap the sats around for fusion reactors. You do not want to do this early on though, as you will just run out of fields, but because some players do like to do sat bashes, crawler bashes, this will give you a reliable energy source. If you have a look, it's not exactly great at the lower levels, but it's far, far better than the solar power plant, which is basically useless. Once you get the higher levels of fusion reactor though, you only really need around level 31, 32 or 33 to power higher level mines. Here's a planet I set up as an example with a fusion reactor. You can see here, level 31, that powers all the mines with plenty of energy spare. And with my level of energy technology, you can see here, each level of fusion reactor from this point gives a huge amount of energy from the previous level, so you don't need to take it up too high. But as I mentioned though, do not do this early on. You will just run out of fields. Also, it's not that much of a big deal if your sats get bashed, as long as you are online pretty shortly afterwards. The problem is if someone bashes your sats when you've gone to bed, you can't rebuild them, and your mines are basically set to zero, and that's kind of a major issue. That's why you'd want to build fusion reactors to prevent another player from basically turning off your production, so to speak. You can see that I've already used up a lot of fields, so I probably won't be able to do too much more on this planet. Now I'm not going to build up the research lab or university on this planet. All my other planets have them, so I don't really need them on this one as well. A missile silo is kind of useless actually, since you can just take any defence with zero losses with the right ships. This doesn't really serve too much of a purpose. I will build a bit of defence though. What I recommend doing if you are going to build defence is max out all the limited units over here. Then just build a wall of either rockets or light lasers, well called missile launchers here. And that should in my opinion, be the best defence you can build. It may put players off from bashing your sats, but it won't prevent all attacks, unfortunately. So let's just build some of these. Yeah, 20 billion, I think, is more than enough. Only takes 10 seconds to complete that. And that, I think, is a decent defence to start with, just with lower mines. I will say again though, since pretty much any defence can be taken with zero losses, you really don't want to focus too much on building defence. So I think I'm pretty much almost done with the basics of the planet. I will need some storage facilities. I'll take that up a bit. Okay, I think I'm pretty much done with that for now. What you want to do is have a look over here. As long as the production per day is not higher than the storage, you should be pretty much okay with that. You can see here, I can leave that going for over a day. 
and it won't fill up so that should be enough for now with the storages and finally you can see I've used up most of the fields so I think what I'll do now is probably build up the terraformer a bit more than buy those items then once the fields are full with the exception of one I will go and work on another planet Anyway, I think I'm pretty much done with this video. I hope you found that interesting and helpful. As always, if you do have any questions or suggestions regarding this, please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to help. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is always very much appreciated. I've included a previous video on the screen. Check that out if you want to do so, plus a playlist. Plus you can also subscribe from here if you want to. And thanks for watching.